Meet ASML, the company that builds the machines powering almost every single modern chip on Earth. Essentially, no ASML, no AI boom, no smartphones, and no NVIDIA dominance. But here's the twist. ASML doesn't actually make the chips. Instead, they build the machines that actually make the chips possible. And these are called lithography machines. These lithography systems are so advanced that they can print microscopic patterns that form each layer of a processor. So think of a chip like a tiny skyscraper. It's built floor by floor, layer by layer with absolute precision. And every single one of those layers is etched using ASML's light-based technology. And with more than 100 layers, billions of transistors, all needing to be aligned absolutely perfectly every single time. And to pull that off, ASML uses computational lithography. So that's basically advanced physics and software working together to predict exactly how light behaves at the nanometer scale. And for perspective, a nanometer is 0 0.00, 0 0.00, 0 0.06 millimeters. That's madness. Teeny, teeny, teeny. So imagine a laser printer, but one that operates at an atomic precision. The systems adjust everything from illumination to mass design, even the shape of light waves themselves, just to make sure every single pattern comes out flawlessly. How does someone create this stuff? How do they invent this? It's absolutely madness. And that is why ASML sits at the center of the semiconductor world. They power all of the AI chips, fueling 5G and enabling the next generation of computing. They are probably one of the most complex manufacturing achievements in human history, and they're running so quietly behind the scenes. ASML might not be a household name, but it might actually be the most important company in the global chip ecosystem. And without it, the entire semiconductor industry would essentially slow to a complete crawl. So here's the real question. Is ASML still a hidden gem? Or do you think it's already priced in absolute perfection? Would you invest in the technology behind the technology? Or would you still go straight to an NVIDIA? Let me know in the comments. I would absolutely love to hear your take on this one. And for the full video above, just comment tech and I'll send it straight over to you. Take it easy.